Stepping up to the couch, it's Brian, who led the league last season in cracked screens. But with his new athletic case, it looks like that won't be the case. <laughs> Touchdown, Brian! Find a way to keep him out of the box. Big 12 Defensive Player of the Year. Dungey takes a hit and throws a little low. Incomplete. Then playing quarterback on third and seven. Pressure right away, and that forces the incompletion. A big hit from the nose tackle, Chris Slayton. First offense he's had more than one year. Tonight almost surely is going to become the all-time leading passer in Syracuse history. He is going down this time, though. Trying to get away, he couldn't do it. Toyus Avery came up from his safety spot. 12 Defensive Player of the Year. Showing some pressure, and he will come with pressure. Dungy went the opposite way and lost the ball. It bounced up off the turf, and he got it back. Keith Washington kind of ran into him, but I think long force that. You're absolutely under center. Jack Allison on a jet sweep action gives the ball with good blocking up ahead. It's a nice game inside the 20 for the Mountaineers. His eighth year in Morgantown. Allison on first down after the penalty will go down. Pressure came quickly. 21 four-man rush for the orange Allison throws that one is right on target for a completion inside the 15 and down to the 10 still short but a nice game for TJ Simmons good hold kick is up and it is good first touch First down, quick snap, and that throw and completion of the run after the catch. Harris once again to midfield and across midfield to the West Virginia 49. Yeah, but instead of second and short, it's second and eight. Pressure comes. Dungy gets away. He's going to heave it deep, and he's got a man. It's caught inside the five. Custis. Dungy gets the ball snap and hands it off straight ahead. Close. Extra effort. Touchdown. And look, how about the push up front? And you're absolutely right. He, he wasn't was, down. He was not down. He Receivers, they say that Allison throws an impeccable, catchable deep ball. Now West Virginia likes to go deep. That was an impeccable throw to Sills for a nice gain and a first down across the 45 yard line. Across midfield, Mountaineers. They get the ball snapped. Allison's going to throw. He's going to Sills, and it is incomplete. Well, Sills got away there at the last minute. He doesn't do that very often. Little play fake, and he just <laughs> stiff-armed a defender, and maybe he should have gone down. He threw it right to Robinson, who picks it off. Push in motion, though, and a high snap. Good catch by McCoy. He's in. Touchdown. Right? Yeah, see, he's going to be very—if he's— taking a peek at this game he's probably not Dungy goes down pressure gets to him and a big loss Shake Campbell from his linebacker spot with the sack Dungy's okay on third and 20 once again Dungy scrambling Dungy gets away initially Dungy will go down shot with Sills see if they do that they're gonna swing it out to the tight end in the right flat and a nice move upfield plus a broken tackle he is tough to bring down Travon Wesco the senior from Martinsburg West Virginia inside Syracuse territory get the ball snap pressure comes that pass is delivered and it's gonna depend on the spot and I think at the moment he is spotted short just barely yeah I think Foster flag for hitting at the head <laughs> it's, it's a fine line for defensive players that pass complete to Harris, and a great move inside all the way down to the 20 and to the 19. So here come the Orange with their best starting field position trying to take advantage of it. Pretty good idea. They want to run the ball behind them. Dungy hands off, and Adams is in. His second touchdown of the game. And look who's there to put an arm around him. Will also, and they'll control the ball at times. Hand off, big hole. Big run for the Mountaineers across midfield. Penaway still going and finally shoved out inside the 25. One game. West Virginia using the ground game in this first half. Allison held on to it for way too yeah. long. Yep. Way too long. The inexperienced quarterback, you could see that coming. West Virginia's field goal game not robust. They're going to hand it off. And that's McCoy straight ahead inside the 20 to a spot where you would think a field goal try would be likely. Kick, not a lot of wind. Good hold. Kick is right down the middle. Perfect. 
Nashville teammate. And he's going to go down as one of the all time most popular players, I think, in modern Syracuse history. He gets to midfield. They ran it on third down and medium. Strickland stopped short. Now it's fourth and three. What do the Orange do? I think Sills has been as positive as he can be about it. He's trying not to beat up his young quarterback. That was a good delivery for a first down and more to TJ Simmons. Nice pass from Allison. Allison hands it off. That's Brown. He got close but tackled short across midfield. This game, Syracuse, one or two possessions of real high tempo. Hand off, big hole. Mo Neal with a nice gain outside the 40. All the way to the 44. Neal empties the backfield. Dungy with some pressure coming, steps up, and Dungy goes down. Loses a yard, maybe two. Giovanni Stewart with the sack. He's here on third and 11. Pressure comes. And he's going backwards. Dungy will now tuck it and try to run, but he couldn't get away. It has certainly done that in college football. Pressure. Allison goes down. And there you saw the first real good example of just the lack of mobility. Person is just unhappy. Swing pass incomplete. That probably wasn't going anywhere, but that is emblematic of this whole game. And the head coach is cranky. Three man rush once again. Dungy has a little more time this time over the middle and that one was right to the defense. Overthrew his receiver intercepted. Derek Pitts the sophomore comes up with the interception. Allison back in the tight end Wesco in motion play clock all the way down to six. That one is thrown with a wide open receiver caught. First down and more, a blown coverage, and Tevin Bush was all alone for a big Mountaineers game. Their star more involved somehow. Allison, quick hitter, left side with a cut up field, and hanging on for dear life with that jersey. Dominique Maiden goes down. Gillies long for the year, 49. Snap hold, kick is up, headed toward that right side, but it is good. So that was a beautiful kick, and Dana Holgerson, hey, he deserves to be pumped up about that. What's that that Dino Babers likes with that play? <laughs> he did. He had a great line. Dungy, kind of the jump style pass to the tight end who sends defenders flying. That's Aaron Hackett. And a big play for the Orange into Mountaineers territory. Coach who is new to the scene. And he has learned from so many different folks over the years. Dungy's throwing the ball. That one beautifully delivered on target for a first down Syracuse. Inside the 25 and can play. Third and eight. Pressure comes. That pass high, incomplete. Might not have mattered anyway, but it's fourth down. First Syracuse freshman, a unanimous All-American, and he sneaks that one right on through for his first field goal of this Camping World Bowl. Allison will throw over the top here. He's got a man wide open, and it's caught for a big game. To midfield, a little stutter step. And still on his feet inside the 45 all the way down to the 40. On third and 13, Allison not looking in Sills' direction. Throws down the sideline incomplete. No chance there. 34, this one 49. Kick is up. And it is good again. Yes. Ahead Greatest. of Ryan Nassif. But yeah, I can see that. Dungy throws this one. And it's complete across midfield to Sherrod Johnson, a redshirt freshman for the state of Florida. And for the Orange, another penalty. Dungy with all kinds of time to throw. Nice delivery, wide open target, Sean Riley. So they get that penalty yardage back. And we'll see if the Orange can get the fast tempo going. Dungy takes a snap. Pressure picked up. That throw right there. Custis with a physical move at the end of the catch and run. First down, Syracuse. Riley back in the game in motion. They're going the other side, and it is caught for a touchdown. What a catch. That's Tristan Jackson, who is playing his first game with Syracuse. Came upon the college football scene when he was a seventh grader, which is hard to believe. Allison moves up in the pocket and throws, tipped up and intercepted. Intercepted by Syracuse with the return inside the 20. That's Alan Stritzinger, who's hardly ever played. Back-to-back -back scores. They'll send Elmore in motion and hand it off on first down. Nice hole up the middle. Still going. That is Dante Strickland with his best run of the night. Not a superstar. 
Dungy throws and the pass is completed but the tackle in the open field well short of the first down by Long. Good snap and hold and the kick is up and good. His 30th made field goal of his freshman year. Coverage. And the pressure got oh. there anyway. Just oh. overwhelmed the offensive line. Allison oh. goes down. That's Kendall Coleman. That's Virginia team that's showing signs of frustration. And I do agree. It's a good point. The 10th win means a lot to them. Dungy, though, going backwards, somehow got the pass completed. And across midfield, here comes the orange. Still going, Moneal. What a play inside the five. Even the referee with a smile at Eric Dungy. That went from disaster to celebration. The handoff straight ahead. Still pushing. Touchdown. And that's the big freshman Jarvion Howard. You want him to have some confidence. Allison will swing it out right side. That one was delivered right in stride. And a catch and run. Brown breaks a tackle, goes out of bounds. Letty Brown. After the 25-yard pass play, Allison with pressure coming. Lobs it up. Sills with the catch. Now one-on-one. -on -one and Sills gets by his man. Just tripped up inside the 10. Allison throws behind Sills. What a catch. Inside the five, Sills goes out of bounds at about the three. That was a terrific catch. There he is. Allison goes to the other side. The tight end was looking to throw. Instead, he runs, and he's not going to get there. Wesco was stacked up. I think he wanted to throw it. Yeah. That, that's a good move. Okay, if you're the son-in-law, you should be able to do that. <laughs> it is. It's an unusual setup. And for West Virginia, you certainly saw some players for the first time tonight who will help next season. Babers just signed a new contract. That pass dumped off short for a nice game with the catch and run for T.J. Simmons. He's thinking, hey, we got our guy, our, our next quarterback. I'm not sure that that is the case. Fence, especially late in their losses. Yeah, you, can, you almost, uh, it's a good point. You almost can throw this one out. Nice run for Kennedy McCoy. Another West Virginia first down. This quarterback next year, there will be a lot of returning talent, though, for the Orange. That one is incomplete. He had two receivers. He didn't really throw it to either one. Sills, one last bit of frustration as he walks off the field for the final time in a Mountaineers uniform, and now the headset comes off. Stake of the year. <laughs> now you can come across. And that's the other side of it. Yeah. An all-time great career for West Virginia comes to an end.